Okay, we're going to go through uh, grab arts real quick. Patrick Kimball grab arts one through ten. This is not for informational. Like this is not so that you can learn them. If you've already learned them, um, this will kind of help uh, if you have any sort of mental blocks somewhere. So grab art one through eight. They are all double grabs. I want to slap up the, the elbows at the same time. I'm kicking with the right foot. Okay, this is all mirror image. I'm doing everything left handed instead of right side, but you'll get it. So right kick, hands underneath the elbows. Bring your hands back, knock the hands down. Forearm to the chest, punch to the face. That's one, two, you're grabbing again. Kick up, slap up, yet again. I'm gonna slide back. When I slide back, I'm sliding my hands back to their wrists. I'm driving my front kick to the chest. So that's two. Three, I'm going to step back with my left foot. That's important. Left foot back. I'm going to bring my hands over the top. And I can either grip here or I can grip here. So I want to step back, over, hit to the mouth, remove their teeth, lock in, clear their hands off the chest. That's the end of the knowledge right from there, but you can throw double punch, or you get from here, you can grab, bring the knee up, lots of options. That's three. Four, I'm gonna step back with my left foot. I'm also gonna grab over, and I'm gonna bring my elbow down. Also hammering to the bicep. This is all at the same time, okay? From there, we're gonna chop. This chop is gonna go underneath the ear. The old way was back knuckle, just so everybody knows. So we're gonna chop under the ear. Right hand is gonna clear their arms out. And same as three, you can do the double punch or you can, you can make it fancy, right? Uh, five, same, still stepping back, still gripping over as four, except we're not going over this time. Five is coming underneath. We're attacking. And in between the bicep and chest. One, two. That chops the floating ribs. I'm going to block out. When I block out, I'm going to punch. Same. We can go with the knee, whatever we want. So that's five. Six. We're going to grip. When I do this, I'm grabbing kind of thumb inside their hand here, and I'm gripping over the top of their hand. It should kind of look like a can opener or something. And then on my right hand is going to go underneath the elbow. I'm going to step forward, although some people like to step back with this one. That's fine. I'm going to bring them right over. Their wrist should be here on my left leg. Their shoulder should be here on my right leg. Their arm is going straight across with their elbow facing out. Hammer to the elbow, hyperextending the arm. Chop, that's going to go uh, next to the ear at the neck. Elbow to spine, punch the back of the head. We're going to slide our right foot back, and we're going to drop our forearm down into their shoulder, putting them on the ground. The other option, when we're done with that punch, is to grab their shoulder, lift upwards with their hand, and that's going to stretch out their chest, and then drive that knee, and that's going to drive them away. Uh, seven. Seven, we want to get to them before they actually grab. So what we want to do is we want to block down with our left and then up with the right. So it's, it's a really cool uh, Tai Chi move. It does this too, but we're also going to kick at the same time. Right hand, right foot. Poke to the eyes. We're going to drop our weight. We're driving this to the chin. This is right here. That's going to stretch out the chest. And then we're going to throw that reverse punch to the stern. That's seven. Eight <coughs> is a step out. Some people step back. Uh, we're going to punch across with my right. So I stepped out with my left. I punch across with my right, turning my shoulder. I'm going to rise up with my elbow. That's going to clear their arms out. I want to slide my left foot to my right, and I want to strike the back of their head with my open hand. Right knee to the face, and as I do that right knee to the face, my right arm is coming back. I step 
As I step, I'm going to hammer to the back of their neck. Nine, they're grabbing and punching, or it's a jab and a cross. Both work. So when that uh, grab comes or that jab comes, I'm going to block. And I'm going to step with my right foot and then blocking out with my left for their, their cross. So I'm going to, from here, I'm going to grab their wrist. I'm going to step in, choke, and put them on my, uh, my left foot. From here, you can arm bar however you want. <clears throat> last one is 10. The last one of, of what we've been working on anyways. So it's a grab and a punch, same as nine. But instead, what I want to do is I want to grab the wrist. I want to drive my elbow into the chest. Lift up. Just going to lift their jaw up. Turn. Elbow. That's going to go to the stomach. My right foot should have stepped really deep between their legs. I'm going to take my right foot real quick. Heel with the groin between the legs. Take that right foot. Big step forward. Look over your left shoulder. And it's going to be a left back kick to finish. That is one through 10, super speedy, fast mode. All right, practice hard.